Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. And you? Very good. Ready for action like Jesse Jackson. Okay. All right, let's get started. We're going to start with a review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de donde paramos ayer, que era con la pronunciación del can y el can't. ¿Se acuerda de eso? Ahí Correcto. vamos a empezar porque allí paramos ayer. Listo. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. All right. Now, what we're going to do is move on to the following section, which is over here in this part. Ah, veo que la mayoría ya lo hizo. Alex, ¿ya lo hizo usted? Yes, teacher. Good evening. ¿Esta parte ya la hizo Alex? Good evening. Yes, teacher. Ya está la de la... Ah, la del Kemba. Ajá. ¿Wilfredo ya la hizo? Creo que no. Ok, tienen que escribir... Correcto, teacher. Tienen que escribir cinco oraciones utilizando el can, es algo que sí puede hacer, y cinco oraciones con el can't, con cinco habilidades que no tiene, que no puede hacer. Cinco y cinco en la misma, en la misma post, en el mismo post. Ready? Yes, teacher. Ok. Ready. You have five minutes. Five minutes. Neto, ¿vas entrando? Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, Neto. How are you? Fine, fine, teacher. Ok. ¿Ya sabe dónde estamos trabajando? Eh, um, estábamos en la doble cuestión ayer, ¿verdad? Yes, right. Ahora vamos a empezar acá. Utilizando el can y el can't. Acabamos de ver este video. 2.6 pronunciation can y can't. Y ahora tienen que escribir cinco oraciones con el can y cinco oraciones con el can't en el mismo post. Cinco positivos okay. y cinco negativos. En eso estamos ahorita. Ok, de hecho, ahorita.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Alex, quiero escuchar sus oraciones. Okay, 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 teacher, ahorita. Permítame, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hola. Me ya que se me cerró aquí. Ok, ¿alguien más que ya esté listo? ¿Que le puede ayudar a Alex? ¿Uno más que ya esté listo? ¿Nadie? ¿Nadie ha terminado? Solo... Ok, okay teacher, ya aquí tengo, ya, ya, ya puedo entrar. Oh, ok, ok, let's go. Ok. I can drive car. Uh -huh. I can drive car or I can drive a car. Uh, I, uh, I can drive car. Ajá, no, ahí sería, en este caso, como es un ah. carro, es singular, le voy a poner I... Can drive a car. Así. A car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Uh, 
I can dance. Okay. I can drive a motorcycle. Okay. I can play basketball. Uh, you said yeah, I can drive motorcycle or I can ride a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Sí, ahí el verbo sería ride, no drive. Para carro se usa drive, para moto se usa ride. Ah, ok, okay. Igual que con la bicicleta, va, ride bike. That's right, I can ride a bike. Ok, le mencionaba, I can play basketball. Ok. En esta sí tengo duda, para decir uh, nadar, I can swimming o es I can swim. Ah, ok, ahí sería I can't swim. Swim, ok. Ahí I sería can... I can o I can't. I can. Con, con N. Con N, I can. I can swim, ok. I can play volleyball. I can play, ok. I can play refrigerator. Volleyball. Ok. I, I can repair, repair a refrigerator. Así sería. Ok. Uh, I can fly a plane. I can fly a plane. I can or I can't? I can. I can't. Can. I can. I can. Usted puede, usted puede navegar un avión. Fly. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Puede, ¿Puede manejar un avión usted? Sería así, teacher. No. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can fly a plane como piloto. No. I, uh, plane. 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 No sé si pronuncio bien. El... Plane. Ajá. Uh -huh. Plane. Plane. Avión. Plane. Uh -huh. Plane. ¿Está bien? So, I can play chess. I, no, no, ahí sería I can play chess. I can chess. play chess. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. I can play chess. Sí. Pero yo no veo negativas. Tenía que darme cinco negativas y cinco positivas. Yo no veo ni una negativa. Uh, no, pero al final, es, bueno, esa es la pronunciación del can. Lo estoy diciendo mal. Ah, ok. La, la, el negativo lleva T, can't. Sí, así es. Can't. Desde, desde I can play volleyball son negativas. Ah, ok. Aquí sería I can't. Pronuncie, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Al final tiene que hacerle t. Ok, I can't. I can't. I can't play volleyball. I, that's right. Tiene que darle con una T al final. I can't. I can't. I can't <laughs> play cheese. Chess. 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 Cheese es queso. Chess, Chess. es ajedrez. Okay. Okay, good job. Alex. Okay. Okay, Alex, elija a otra persona, por favor. Okay, teacher. Este, Neto. Neto, usted le tocó Neto. Comparta, por favor. Solo que no, no hice muchas. ¿Cuántas hizo? Eh, positivas tres y negativas tres ahorita. Ah, ok. Deme las tres que tiene. I can dance. I can dance. I can play football. I can play football. I can... Eh, le había puesto cooking, pero creo que es cook, ¿verdad? Cook, that's right. I can cook. Ah, esa la voy a escribir porque esa es nueva. I can... Puedo, puedo cocinar. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Ahí sería... I can cook. I can cook. Eh, ojo con la pronunciación de can. No es como, como canino. Can. Es can. Can. Como lata. Can. Ok. All right, guys. That's good enough. 
Ahora vamos a trabajar en pareja. Uno le va a preguntar esta pregunta. What can you do? Everybody repeat. What can you do? What can, what can you do? What can you do? What can do you do? No, no, do you know? What can you do? What can you do? Correct. So, le vas a hacer la pregunta, what can you do? Y la persona te va a responder positivamente. I can, I can, I can. Después, what can't you do? ¿Qué no puedes hacer? Y la persona te va a responder, I can't, I can't, y las respuestas que ya tiene. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Preguntas, Hugo, José, preguntas. Wilfredo, preguntas. No, teacher, todo está bien. Ok, entendemos la actividad, lo que vamos a hacer. Yes, teacher. Uno le va a hacer, what yes, can yes. you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? Right. Y el otro le va a responder de manera what positiva. Can you do? Después le va a preguntar, I what can can't you do? Uh, que es algo que no puedes hacer. Y le va a responder y después el otro le hace la pregunta y el otro responde. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Hugo, what happened? What happened, Hugo? ¿Qué le pasó? Ahí lo tengo con Alex y con Wilfredo. Qué raro. What can you do? Así, algo así. Así es. Uh -huh. I can ride Hola, a bike. Hola, Hugo. Ok. Buenas bueno, noches, Hugo. La Inter te estaba fallando. Ah, buenas noches, ¿qué tal? Bien, bien, por aquí, mire. Ahorita termino. Dale. Ok, practiquemos, pues. Eso. Practic, practic. Hoy sí, creo que está en el, en el WhatsApp. En el chat. Hoy se va. Sí. En... Uh -huh. I can drive a car. I can dance. I can ride a motorcycle. I can ride a bike. I can play basketball. I can swim. I can play volleyball. La última está mal escrita hoy. Uh, el reto es, el reto es esto. I can. La, la I penúltima can está mal, mal escrita hoy. Sí, ya, ya la vi, ya la vi. Sí. Correcto. Bueno, entonces empezamos. Empecemos. What can you do? 
I can uh, drive a car. Okay. Uh, what can you do? I can uh, dance. I can dance. What can you do? I can ride a motorcycle. What can you do? I can ride a bike. Why can ride? Uh, perdón. What can can you you do? I can play basketball. What can you do? I can swim. What can you do? I can't play volleyball. Why can't you do? I can't repair a refrigerator. Why can't you do? Eh, allí la pronunciación de refrigeradora sería refrigerator. Refrigerator. Con refrigerator. Ah, uh -huh. uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Refrigerator. I can play chess. No, okay. chess, no, chess. 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 Cheese and ah, queso. Ah, ha, ha. I can chess. I can play chess. That's right. Okay. Bueno. Hoy le hago las preguntas a usted, Alex. Okay. What can do you do? Mm -mm -mm. What can no. do you do? No. What can you do? What can you do? What okay. can you do? I can drive a car. What can you do? I can dance. What can ride? No, what can you do? I can ride a motorcycle. What can you do? I can ride a bike. What can you do? I can play basketball. What can you do? I can swing. What can you do? I can play volleyball. What can you do? I can buy a refrigerator. 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 That's right. <coughs> I can you do? I no. can. What what no. can you do? What no, can I can you, you do? do no. What, what can, can you can, do? What can you do? Mm -hmm. I can play chess. No, chess, no, chess. 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 <laughs> I I can play chess. Okay. Ahora ahí está Mr. Hugo. Le preguntamos, don Hugo. Una, una pregunta. Eh, la, la respuesta que ustedes estaban eh, diciendo, eh, se la dio. Eh, yo las mandé al grupo del WhatsApp. No sé si las copiaron. Uh, sí, ahí no están. Tengo, pero puede... eh, las mando ahí al ahorita. Ahorita hubo.
¿La tiene, Hugo? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, okay Alex. Ok, yo le hago la pregunta. What can you do? I can drive a car. What can you do? I can dance. What can you do? I can ride a motorcycle. What can you do? I can ride a bike. What can you do? I can play basketball. What can you do? I can swim. What can you do? I can play volleyball. What can you do? I can repay a refrigerator. What can you do? I can fly a plane. Eh, la penúltima estaba mala, solo la, la última, la correcta. Está mal escrita okay. la, la penúltima. Uh, I, I can, I can chef. Ok. Esa sería la última. Sí, I can, I can play chess. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue. Vamos a ver la próxima actividad que viene de aquí. Listen to the conversation. Listen and practice. I can't sing. Esta está en la 5.8. Listen. Conversation title. I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic or something special singing is something that only a few people can do and most people can't in my case I can't sing at all let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can to do this we can follow this formula subject 
plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and coworkers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My coworker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. All right guys, please listen and repeat. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a talent contest. There's a, There's talent, a talent contest. contest. On Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. Let's enter. Let's, Let's enter. enter. I can't enter a talent contest. I can't, I can't enter, enter a talent, talent contest. contest. What can I do? What can, what I, do? can I do? You can sign, you can sing really well. You can sing very well, really well. You can sing really well. You can, you can sing, sing very really well. well. Oh, thanks. 
Oh, oh thanks. thanks. Well, you can too. Well, well you, you can, can do too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. Oh no, oh, no, I, I can't, can't sing, sing at all. At all. But I can play the piano. But, but I can't I play, can play the, the piano. piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. <clears throat> So, so maybe, maybe we, we can, can enter the enter contest. The contest. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Sure, sure. Why, not? why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, okay. let's mm -hmm. practice tomorrow. tomorrow. All right. Okay, guys, um, at this moment, do you have any questions referring to the pronunciation or do you have any questions referring to this vocabulary? Teacher, la palabra correcta es practice, la pronunciación. Practice. 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 That would be practice. Okay. Practice. 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 Listen and practice. Okay. Saturday. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Another practice? Okay, now I would like for Alex, you are going to be Kayla, and Wilfredo, you are going to be Philip. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, look, this Italian contest, and suddenly, let's enter. I can't enter a Italian context. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. All right, good job. Now we are going to change. Now Alex is Philip, Wilfredo is Ayla. Okay, teacher. <laughs> oh, look, there are talent contexts on oh, Saturday. There's. Al final tiene there's? Que ese, there's. Ah, there's. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent context on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. Why can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can see it at all. Sing. But sing. I can sing. Cabal. I can't sing. I can sing. Uh -huh. Esa mm, es como cantadito. I can't sing at all. I can sing at all. Uh -huh. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can. Enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice. No. Okay. Let's practice size tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. Practice. See, no. Practice tomorrow. Pra practice tomorrow. Uh huh. Practice tomorrow. Practice tomorrow. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Ok, ahora lo que vamos a hacer acá, en esta parte de aquí, van a escribir un diálogo similar a este. Le pueden cambiar, en vez de Saturday, le puede poner 
Friday. En vez de ponerle, digamos, sing, le puede poner dance. En vez de piano, le puede poner guitar. En vez de tomorrow, le puede decir la próxima semana, next week. ¿Ok? Van a escribir un diálogo similar a este acá abajo en el discussion forum. Tiene 10 minutos. Starting now. Everybody finish?
Not finished? All right. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay, let me have Alex. I want to listen to your conversation. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nos salimos porque pensamos que se le había olvidado sacarnos. <laughs> no, no, no. Aquí estamos ya. Okay, okay. Ahorita vamos a escuchar a Alex. Él va a compartir su conversación. Ok. Ok, Neto, eh, comparta con nosotros la conversación que escribió. Neto Rodríguez. Ok. Comparta eh, con la clase su conversación, por favor. Estuvimos haciendo unas preguntas, teacher. Eh, ¿No hicieron la conversación? Eh, no. Ah, ok, bueno. Solo pre estoy preguntando unos positivos, negativos y, y buscando verbos. Para poder variar. Ah, ok. Ok, Alex, lo escuchamos, Alex. <coughs> Quítale el silencio de ahí está. Alex, lo escuchamos. Ok, lo que escribe va a teacher. Lo, el diálogo que escribió. Ok, solo le cambié una, unas palabras. That's, that's ok, that's ok. Ok. Oh, look. Here's a talent contest on Sunday. I can't enter talent contest. What can I do? You can dance really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can't dance at all, but I can play the guitar. 
<laughs> so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. All right. Very good job, Mr. Alex. That's right. Thanks. That's Thanks. right. Okay. Alguien más que ya terminó el diálogo que lo quiera compartir con la clase. Ok, si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Vamos a ver la próxima sección. Nos quedan 10 minutos. Knowledge check. Instructions. Gabriela is talking about things she can and can't do. Complete the sentences following the example. Instrucciones. Gabriela está hablando acerca de las cosas que ella puede y no puede hacer. Completa las oraciones siguiendo el ejemplo. Este es el ejemplo. Number one. I can't draw. So aquí vas a terminar la dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Con lo correcto. Can positivo. Can't negativo. Tiene cinco minutos. All right, all right. Are you finished? Yes, teacher. All right. Let me have one volunteer, number one, please. One volunteer, I mean, number two, one volunteer. <clears throat> teacher, 
Wilfredo levantó la mano. Correcto, teacher. Dígame. Sería la segunda. Yes, number I, two. I can. I can act. I can act. Number three. I can't sing. I can't sing. Okay. Number four. I can fix car. Okay. Ahora le vamos a dar chance a Alex. Number five. Okay. I can play tennis. All right. Number six, Alex. I can't ice skate very well. I can't ice skate very well. Neto, la siete, Neto. Okay. I can play the piano. I can play the piano. Neto, la ocho. I can't cook at all. I can't cook at all. Ding, ding, ding. Excellent work, gentlemen. Y esta, oh, oops, le puse sing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go, ahí está. Good job. All right. Good job, gentlemen. Bueno, caballeros, hemos llegado al final del día de hoy. Continuamos mañana. Por favor, si pueden progresar en la plataforma, háganlo. Si no, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. I see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys.